Hi, Kaylin. I thought I'd make a little video kind of explaining because I'm not sure if the picture will make sense. So you have this function. I factored it. Oh, there's some funky stuff going on there. Okay. So look at the top. It's the absolute value of X minus one. So I took a second and thought about the absolute value of X minus one. And I know that at zero, the absolute value is, or at one, the absolute value is zero. Everything above one is positive, so it's gonna look like itself. Everything less than one, like negative five minus five is negative six. The absolute value of negative six, to make it positive, we'll take the negative of its value. So make sure you kind of understand why in an absolute value either it looks like itself when it's positive or it looks negative um, when we have a negative value. Okay, so looking back at the function, I have two options. It either looks like negative or it looks like positive. You can see in both cases are crossing out. I didn't cross out here. There we go. Um, so it looks like negative one over X up until one and then at one it looks like one over X. So I drew a picture of what that would look like. So here I started doing kind of the picture of negative one over X. Then at one, it switches over to look like one over X. So it's going to look like this. So from the picture, it's quite clear that that is a jump. So you can see it has two different values, negative one over X and one over X, depending on where it is on the graph. And that point where it jumps is one.